Welcome to our lecture online. Often when we try to multiply fractions or numbers with fractions and then we see a mixed number, we're not quite sure what to do with it. What does it really mean? Is it the same as multiplying? Well, it turns out it is not. And here we have some examples. Let's say we see five with a dot and two thirds. This dot implies a multiplication. Matter of fact, I can probably also add this thing right here. Sometimes we can simply write as five times two thirds so instead of writing a dot, we can simply write the multiplication sign. And that means exactly the same thing. We'll do the same over here. 3 multiplied times 4 fifths. And so here what we end up doing is we end up multiplying the number times the numerator because when we see the number 5 there, essentially that means 5 over 1. So we can say that's the same as 5 over 1 multiplied times 2 over 3, which is equal to 10 over 3. Same over here, we multiply the numerator, so 5 times 2, which is 10, divided by 3. And here, the same thing happens if we want to multiply. If we want to indicate that we're multiplying, we can put parentheses around it. And even though there's nothing in between the parentheses, that is implied that we're multiplying those together. So 5 times 2 is 10, divided by 3. But when we see this here, that's something entirely different. That's what we call a mixed number. That means that we're putting together an integer and a fraction together. And this actually means that we're adding the two. So when we see it like that, this is equal to five plus two thirds, not five times two thirds. And then, and we'll learn a little bit more about that later, we can rewrite the five so that we have the same denominator. So when we multiply the numerator and denominator by Three, for example, this is the same thing as saying this is five over one plus two over three. Now we haven't reviewed adding fractions yet, but essentially we need the denominators to be the same. So what we're going to do, we're going to say, well, this is equal to five over one, and we're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by three. If we multiply the numerator and denominator by the same number, we haven't changed anything. And then we add that to 2 thirds. And then you see that 5 times 3, which is 15, divided by 1 times 3, which is 3. So now we're multiplying these together. And then we add that to 2 over 3. And notice, since they're now over the same denominator, I can simply add the numerators, which is 17 over 3. And we'll see more examples of that later. I just wanted to point out to you that this is not the same as either one of these three expressions. It kind of looks the same, but it's not. When we write it like this, without anything between the five and the two thirds, it doesn't mean multiplication, it means addition. If we want to show that we're multiplying, we put either a dot, we put a multiplication sign, or we put parentheses around it with nothing in between. You could put a dot in between, but you don't have to. Dot means multiplying, this means adding. Same over here. So we see that 3 times 4 divided by 5, we can write it as 3 over 1 and then multiply the numerators and the denominators together. We don't have to if we can see the difference. So 3 times 4, which is 12, divided by 1 times 5, which is 5. Or simply go 3 times 4 is 12, and we have the denominator of 5. 3 times 4 is 12, we have a denominator of 5. These are all the same thing. But that is what we call a mixed number which means that this is equal to 3 plus 4 over 5, or we can say this is 3 over 1 plus 4 over 5. And then, of course, we need to have the same denominators before we can add them, which means that this is going to be equal to 3 over 1. And, of course, to make the denominators the same, we have to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 5. Again, 5 over 5 is equal to 1, so I'm simply multiplying by 1. I'm not changing anything but at least that will give me the same denominator. And then we add that to 4 over 5, which means that this is going to become 15 over 5 plus 4 over 5. And now that the denominators are the same, this then becomes 19 over 5. I just want to point out that mixed numbers are not the same as multiplying a number with a fraction. And now you can see the difference.